because of the bar construct from the part the F1, F2, F3, though they can be like the 500 area at F1, give you a lot of information of the different vowel. And the vowel has a, the robust energy compared with the consonant, for example. Right? Low frequency pyotons have the highest noise and high frequency have the lowest, all right, in terms of the strength. So kind of here it's showing how right, this is the strength, strongest, right? Right, pyotons. And then the, here it you know gradually decreased, but still kind of you know, you know, at first like you know, that once you hit the noise for the strength will be pure. That, right? This is showing for the seven tone, okay, the same fundamental frequency with the 250. And then the combining these, right? The seven harmonic, and then the complex tone has a lot of it, you know, more harmonic, right? And then like, you know, in, see like, you know, the frequency, not only one frequency, but this is 250 to 2000 frequency combined, 250 to 16,000 hertz combined. And so that the strength just like, you know, decrease gradually, depend on the, what, you know, the components you are describing. If you do like, you know, if the low pass noise, and then, and then like a noise, amplitude the mod modulation noise, you know, those kind of noise make the strength gonna be weaker. Okay, so that's kind of, you know, they were showing for now. Right. Now, complex speech, right? So far here, right, like, you know, before, remember, right, I said, right, I emphasize here, Emphasizing. Right. This supports for place for the high frequency, but not the low, and the low for the temporal, right? This is an emphasized pure tone. Pure tone, right? So, story now is going to be changed to complex pitch. And most sound are complex. So now, how do we how do we perceive? All right, now harmonic complex, right? So the fundamental of the two hundred, you know, right? And then a lot of harmonic you can combine, right? But you can kind of you know, okay. Let's just you know delete couple. That conceptually, you can still hear this. Is you can tell. To hundred other fundamental frequency, or you can take out instead of here or here, like you know, if you have enough information of the two hundred other fundamental frequency, even though like, you know, some harmonic is missing, you can still perceive other harmonic and the two hundred hertz. Okay, so this is a kind of a very interesting phenomenon. Pitch of the harmonic complex. Question? The pitch is you usually perceive you hear one complex tone, not six separate pitches. Right? You hear the whole thing as a one sound, like right? If you hear. And then you can kind of tell, oh, you can tell, right? Like, the reason we can tell is a male voice, female voice, right? Because you are picking up somehow your brain, even though some harmonic is missing, your brain is picking up, right? If listener is asked to match the pitch of the complex to the pitch of the pure tone, they will generally choose the pure tone at the fundamental frequency. So this will be the base, right? In fact, if you predict harmonic alone, you still hear the pitch of the fundamental. Well, like if you're just hearing only this, you can still hear. But even though if you are, this is missing, but if these sound constructed based on this, your brain somehow can tell. Pitch of the missing fundamental. So this is a very interesting phenomenon, right? Missing fundamental frequency. Some articles say the virtual pitch, residual pitch, or low pitch. But in general, we use the fund missing fundamental frequency phenomenon. Yeah. So the sound will it will sound the same 
sound the same or like you can tell like whose sound, right? Like the big um like the sound like fundamental frequency the two hundred or fundamental frequency hundred or hundred and fifty. Even though you are not like this component is missing, but if if it is right, this sound coming from this construct is this, right? If you have this harmonic based on this, and then if if you just take note out uh, we create a sound and then we can just uh, taking out, taking away this 200 pitch from the sound. So you, you can need see. a combination of harmonics or is it just like one harmonic you take out, it's still that one, the fundamental? Possible. Like possible. if this is constructed based on this. Okay. Yeah. So that's kind of basically, it's kind of not a mystery, but it's kind of, you know, it's really like it's just our brain. Um, somehow generate, like if the sound coming from the fundamental frequency of 200 or 250, and, right? So that's, again, like, that's why even though the sound is here, if someone is talking, female talk this harmonic or kids talk this harmonic, you can tell. All right, let's see. So what is, if you see this, what's the fundamental frequency? 500, right? It's, so you can kind of also tell, right? <laughs> yeah. So and this, this, let's think about more like, you know, how this is going to be applicable to us, right? But nowadays, cell phone like the phone is very sophisticated, but if you have the still more like a landline phone, like you know, <laughs> do you use? Or I mean, like, do you, have you seen or a grandparents' house or maybe parents like you know the regular like a like a landline like you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, still yeah. right. It's still working, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? but you know, telephone must do not carry frequency, right? The phone, like you know, the really original phone, it, it's they are not have the whole frequency. They have to limit. So, for example, right, frequency over three hundred, meaning they can't. The phone, you know, that the line like you know, cannot capture your fundamental frequency. But you can still talk to someone, and then you can still tell who is, you know, kind of you can. As soon as you're picking up, oh, that's you. Oh, that's not my friend's voice, but a friend mother's voice, or you know something you can tell even the phone, right? Um, miniature speaker, you know that might be also some kind of limited frequency they have to use, but still again you can tell. Pipe organ also <laughs> kind of an example of that. Missing fundamental frequency developed during the. Now this is also how. Deve like, hearing is important developmentally, infancy between third and fourth months. So they are like, you know, so that's why like, you know, even though you know baby doesn't talk to you back yet, how important mother or ma father or someone keep talking to the baby as they, you know, each day, right? Because they were developing the language, developing the all these two the fundamental frequency component, right? And that's like you no know, really, you know. Again, like it's, yeah. So is that saying that their ability to do this develops? Yeah, oh, like, okay. yeah, yeah, develop, right? Like, you know, that's why, like, you know, baby, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, in just in general speaking, usually, like, you know, baby can react to the mother's voice first, or, like, you know, I mean, easier, like, because the mother is the one who giving the milk, is more, like, a common. And then, like, you know, of course, the father along with it. And then, like, you know, someone that, like, uh, maybe, Several months later, oh, this sound doesn't like, doesn't, like a, maybe parents' friend came to visit and they say hi to the baby and the baby can tell, oh, that's not my mom or not my mother, like, you know, that kind of things, right? So development, but then like, you know, so that's why if they you know, think about the newborn hearing screening, if they miss and then they didn't know, a lot of the time, like, if they fail, we ask the parents to like, you know, do the, um, Diagnostic ABR testing, right? Like they, they like before they discharge from the hospital, they have to take that test and they have to pass. Or if they fail, 
then they recommend you to see the uh, diagnostic testing phase. Sometimes the parents are you know, too busy to bring the baby back, you know, do the check. You know, I mean, the most of cases, you know, hopefully baby doesn't have the hearing loss. Baby just didn't pass only because there's still fluid in the ear. And that's why. And that's okay. But if that's not the case, they want to discover as soon as possible, right? Really, like, you know, before, it's as soon as the you know, baby was born and they didn't pass, they discover the hearing loss, move on, right? Do the something. Because, right, even like, you know, right, the third and fourth month, three, that's why like, you know, you're gonna learn from the Professor Winter next year for the pediatric, more like, you know, three, six, like, you know, the rule, like, you know, the interve intervention, sooner as possible, right? Even the cochlear implant nowadays, really like, you know, the, um, the, Used to be at least has to be one year, but now it's nine months. So now it's I think I like hear six months. You know that kind of the surgery they can do it, right? So all the kind of think about you know for those developmental issue how important. All right, how the missing fundamental being reintroduced, right? So now just okay, okay missing, but then how our brain kind of can catch it, right? So. The way to confirm whether it's a distortion, right? So now think about the distortion. You're yeah, missing, missing, but masking and the missing fundamental. And then see, so this is kind of you know, how kind of you know, think about the experiment to you know, how we introduce this missing fundamental. Hmm. And then next, so the base kind of masking the fundamental and see if that still can tell or not. You know, that's kind of like, you know, the right, experiment. All right, by a possible explanation, this kind of, you know, interesting phenomenon, pitch perception of the missing fundamental remained even after adding masking noise. So even though you're masking the fundamental, right, like, you know, to make it really hard, like, you know, really, like, you know, the, like, you know, the sound, you are kind of you know, masking the fundamental, but still brain can tell. I mean, that's kind of you know, missing or not the missing, but covered with the masking noise, you know, to like, you know, washing, washing, like, you know, but still brain can tell. Basically, no matter what. Even like our brain is very sophisticated. So therefore, they think, oh, okay, brain does mask. Maybe. <laughs> maybe it's sophisticated. The maybe brain calculate the difference between the harmonics to derive the missing fundamental frequency. Maybe they like, you know, the brain doing this kind of mathematics for you automatically. Maybe. But right, if it's like you no know, really Right, the brain can dismiss if the frequency is going to be exact frequency in the exact timing, but that's not how, right? Uh, it can be something like, no, can be shifted. It's 200, maybe a little bit shifted, uh, like, no, in our cochlear frequency, like, no. So it may not be so kind of precise calculation, but the brain can do. Harmonic complex, right? Like here, like, right? So if you have the two different tone, right? Okay, let's say tone one blue, tone two red. Okay. Think about it. harmonic. All right. Distance, same, but not the harmonic. So that's kind of, you know, so you have to think about fundamental is like, you know, multiplied by fundamental frequency is the harmonic to be, right? So 200 times two, 400, 200 times three, 600. So that harmonic, but 300, 500, yes, distance 200 the same, but it's not harmonic because 300 times two is supposed to be 600, right? Right, so that's why you know, if you like, right, three times three, three times two, six hundred, three times three, nine hundred, then harmonic. But this is not harmonic. Okay? 
So that's why I think, okay, hmm, the thing is, okay, distance can be same, yeah. Sorry, can you explain that again, the previous slide, the harmonics? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the, if this is the fundamental frequency, right? Fundamental mm -hmm. frequency, the next harmonic has to be the double, mm -hmm. right? So 200 times 2, 400. 200 times 3, 600, because this is the fundamental. So it has to be able to like multiply by this fundamental frequency. If this is the 300 is the fundamental frequency, the next harmonic should be 600, not 500. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, so therefore, hmm, the system isn't just taking the difference between harmonic, <coughs> because shifting in harmonic, right? But keeping the difference the same, change the pitch. So, I think the brain that cannot do the math like this way. So pitch of the missing fundamental. So this is how they describe in the textbook. Most naturally happening harmonic sound have a harmonic structure, which the eta frequency component that correspond to the fundamental, right? Correspond to the fundamental. Helm holes observe, um, this is the person, right? You can see the heart who produced the heart as a unit. The person, the scientist, observe this component determines the pitch of the complex sound, but removing that component does not change the pitch of the stimulus, right? That, this is just a repeating, I don't know. This is how it's said in the textbook, but the same explanation, right? Okay. Right, the, the, yeah, missing, but you can tell, like missing, missing, but as far as, right, still the pitch is the same. Removing many component does not change the pitch. Subject can still identify the melody until, now there are some kind of limitation, until about eight to 10 components are removed. If it's more than that, may not be so easy to tell. So perfect correct, so this is like, you know, they did experiment to see how far like, you, know, you can take out the component, how much, and you can still, and then look to the slide Roughly speaking, until about eight to ten components are removed, then you can still detect at the pitch of the what of you know, even the missing. So this is like a task, it's getting harder, but it, you know, not impossible, but then there's a chance 50% of the melody are still identifiable. But it's kind of chance level decrease as the component is missing, more component. Looks like you do fine about eight to ten. About right, so you have Okay, so you have like about eight, you get 100% detection. And then like, okay, maybe like about 10, start declining the, you know, your chance level. And then like declining more, more than like 10 or, you know, in, but it's not like a drop completely, right? It's not like, you know, so you have a 50-50 chance. Again, this is why you think about the phone, like especially like, you know, traditional like landline phone, like, you know, even the, like, you know, my, like if you have a sibling, sometimes sibling's voice is very similar, right? The fundamental, like, you know, like uh, when I was a ch you know, child, like, you know, my friend and my sister's friend, sometimes they're confused. Like if I pick up, my sister's friend start talking to me, ah, they think it's, you know, I'm the you know, sister, right? That kind of you know, mistake could happen. But, you know, like, you know still 50-50 chance level, you might be right and then, you know, similar. And then because of that, like, it's not going to be like, you know, kind of almost stabilized, right? It's not going to be like, you know, completely different person's voice like. All right, mo model of the pitch of the missing has been tested using frequency discrimination task. So here, right, the J and D for the fundamental frequency is very low until, you know, about 8 to 10 harmonic. So that's kind of, you know, okay. So we are very keen to, right, this J and D for the fundamental frequency until about eight to 10 harmonic. So that's kind of our J and D for the fundamental frequency, right? So now we have a lot of like, the different fundamental, I mean the J and D, right? J and D for the frequency, J and D for the, right, like, you know, fundamental frequency, the loudness intensity, right? 
So this is like again like the same way of looking at this is like the same kind of you know, and then different y axis and x axis. This is again harmonic component and then like you no know, J and D, the fundamental frequency J and D. Okay, but that's showing task it harder but not the impossible. This is the kind of the same thing describing this and that. Just this one is the percent correct. This one showing for the fundamental frequency J and D is the y axis. Okay. All right, now modern theory. Again, the theory is important. Right now. All right, now pattern recognition or a temporal model. So pattern recognition basically place model. Based on the rate, place code, place mode, right? Match sound to the template, uh, template based on the experience. Also temporal mode, temporal code, phase locking, auditory nerve. Those are kind of, you know, the body system, right? All right, now, the pattern recognition model, place model, right? Okay, firing rate, right? The firing action potential, firing or not. Right, the pattern, all right. So here, looks at 200 fundamental frequency. Let's see how the, from the base to apex, right? Position, like, you know, so let's see the 200 fundamental frequency. Pattern, this is about hold, store the pattern in the brain, act, actively associated with the fundamental. So we know that, right? And the base to apex in the basilar membrane. So, so this is the kind of, you know, right, like, you know, the apex, right, for the, because like, you know, this is the 200, right, the lower frequency side, and even though you have complex sound combining, but you, if this is the sound based on this, the brain can tell. So this is the kind of the place model theory, temporal theory. Point out when you combine the harmonic of given fundamental, even when the fundamental isn't there missing, Combine the time waveform repeat at the rate of the fundamental frequency. The rate, the same time, right? So temporal theory, perceived as the same pitch, but different timbre. Now, different timbre, the music, music instrument, right? So here, same temporal envelope, same pitch. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Same pitch, 100 right but it can be different timber right that also that's why the some instrument I mean a lot of instrument right the flute the violin like you know they were okay asking them to okay everyone hundred Hertz fundamental frequency let's play but sound different right like whatever like you know the bass like you know when they do tuning maybe right and all that, like, the corporate implant patient, right? It's still this data one that, you know, this subtle different, people the same fundamental, but this timbre is like, you know, um, instrument by instrument different. So are they missing that with the cochlear implant? Or they're getting like the envelope of the timbre? They are missing both, right? Basically, okay. I mean, basically they, are, they don't have the, anything to start with. Okay. Like a cochlear implant, like, you know, especially they're talking about the typical, like, you know, if they're born deaf, right? Meaning they don't have any, they can't establish those fundamental frequency to start with. So they're using the cochlear implant, they establish that, that sound. But remember the cochlear implant, there is a limitation. They can't have, like, you know, if they can have the precise, like, you know, from the apex to base, like, the whole, like, you know, right, like, you know, but it's actual the reality of the corporate implant. You're gonna learn from Professor Winter next year, but it really is you know, kind of like, you know something limit here, and then also limit like you know, the the band, right? Like, you know, this is gonna be like, you know used to be only one channel to start with. That became two, four, six, eight, 16, 24. Like you know, it's getting more and more band to make it more precise. You know. But it's not gonna be like, for uh, like, like not like, like you know, right? Like every moment, right? So that's why it, yes, their fundamental frequency establishment is not gonna be the same as like you know, normal here. Right. 
So for them, though, because I know we've said that they rely on the envelope. Right, they the rely on envelope, right, the chunk. So like they may, so, so another word, right, the cochlear implant, you can think of, maybe, right? They may, if they're like, no, they're using the cochlear implant as their, right? Maybe like they have a better, if, if it's the chance to tell. And then it's the so, getting sophisticated, you know, that they are grasping that envelope system to like, okay, this is sound like a violin, this is sound like flute, this is sound like a tuba, something like that. So they, can, they are using that to the timbre to tell which timbre it is? Is that what you're saying? Uh, the timbre is like, you know, in general, like the, the musician, right? Like the music instrument. Mm -hmm. Every instrument has a different timbre mm -hmm. with the same fundamental frequency. Like a piano, same like a C sound. Like a, if you like a, like let's say the C is the common sound and the C, okay, violin C, piano C, flute C, like you know, same supposed to, but it's not a different, like a, you hear differently, right? So would a person with a cochlear implant have a harder time? Yes. With yes. the timber? Yeah. Okay. yeah. This is like no really, yeah. This is like no really, like you no. Know, so, you can ask like Matt, for example, because they, you know, he had a cochlear implant when he was ba babies and he's a musician. And then like, you know, but also really like, you know, kind of the effort is different. And so that's kind of, you know, this is like, you know, getting better and better and better with like the technology improve for the cochlear implant. Like really original, like even about 20 years ago, the cochlear implant, like eight channel, 16, like, you know, the music is the one that they couldn't appreciate. So, and also like you know the uh, maybe like you know the people like Matt like you know maybe not so much, but the people who like people like us, the people the postlingual cochlear implant patient, the people who, like us, you grew up, you are a musician, and then suddenly you lost the hearing, and if you put the cochlear implant, of course it's not gonna be the same, not gonna be easy to adjust. It's kind of hard to accept the, you know, those kind of timbre from the cochlear implant sound. Yeah. Okay. So now, to understand how these two theories are tested, we need to know the difference between the resolved and unresolved. Okay. Now, auditory filter, right? Low frequency to high frequency. Missing fundamental in the harmonic. All right, low harmonic will fall within their own filter, right? So this is like you know something right. Lower side of the filter, narrow. Higher frequency side, wider, right? So if you're gonna put this, right? Okay, fundamental frequency for the each. The right low harmonic will fall within their own filter, resolved. Multiple higher frequency will get mushed into the same filter for the higher frequency. Higher frequency side has to you know, kind of mush the crowded, like you know. Here the single room. This is more like uh, you are sharing the ten people in the same hotel room, something like that. <laughs> right? You have to like, you, know, you have the one bed. Okay, enjoy one bed, one person, one bed. You have to squeeze put the ten people on the one bed. Something like, you know, right? So therefore, it's kind of like, you know, right? Resolved and resolved, you know, harmonic, not for higher high frequency. It's not gonna be the same. So, let's see here is a resolved harmonic, fundamental frequency of 200 versus, but right now, let's see that like not, you know, 220. So it's similar, but different fundamental, meaning different person, right? Let's see, like, you know, the, Okay, so 200 harmonic, and then the harmonic, like, right, 220, 440, 660, that's kind of how it goes. All right, so, the filter. So this is the lower frequency side, higher frequency side. So that's gonna be, right? It's going to be different, you can see the difference. So for a set of the resolved harmonic, each fall into the own set, own bed, right? Or the filter. Therefore, it can be distinguished from the other resolved harmonic. You can tell to 200 versus 220 because 
it feels like it's not gonna be like so much overlap. You can kind of, okay, I'm my own filter to enjoy. Different set of the resolved harmony will create a different activity pattern across all three filters. Leads to a different pitch perception based on the template principle. Okay. All right. Now the story change for the higher frequency side. Same fundamental we are using. Okay. Same fundamental frequency. But if you're talking about the lower frequency, then that you know you are not sharing, or the filter is kind of let's say on. All right. Same fundamental to hundred to twenty. But now talking about higher frequency side of the harmonic, right? Like the 2400, right? 3000, 4000, that side. Hmm. Or the filter is so wide. You can't really tell. Okay, same place you are poking. Now, is this like a 200 person voice to 20,000? You know? <coughs> hmm. Because it's unresolved harmonic. Okay? Wide or far, yeah. So, it's, and you can't have your own origin filter. Okay, so unresolved harmonic pass through the same auditory, but different set of the harmonic could create the same pattern. So it's kind of confusing, right? Activity on the basilar membrane. If here different virtual pitch, when the harmonic are unresolved, right? Then you can't be using the pattern detection mechanism because the pattern may be the same, right? Even though it's a different thing, supposed to, but you can really tell because you are same, um, right? you can resolve because unresolved situation, you are kind of not okay, you are stuck. Mm, 200 to 20, you are stuck here, right? So therefore you can be using this pattern system, pattern model, right? <coughs> right now, okay, well, but, our brain is sophisticated, right? So however, now you could be using temporal information instead of place information. Because the place information doesn't tell you. So now let's see, okay, temporal information, let's you know get the help from that. Because the combined waveform of the harmonic repeat at the rate of the fundamental frequency, and thus different for different combination of the unresolved harmonic. So the pattern cannot tell, but temporal might. All right, now we did, um, I'm just gonna stop here, up to, oh. <laughs> all right, um, yes. The quiz nine, the next week, next Tuesday, right? Mm, the syllabus, it just says lecture 21, but our slides say lecture 19, 20, and 21. Is it all of this? The, the one that we did talk about uh, Tuesday, today, that's going to be quiz nine. Yeah. I mean, still kind of you know, keep going to finishing up a little bit, a couple slides, you know, but it's okay. Up to here is for the quiz nine. Okay. Up to where? Up to here. Like, uh, seven, what, uh, like up to here. Yeah, 69 for you or maybe a yes, student version. Yes, because I had like, you know, some like, adding at the beginning, so. I'm just gonna like, you know, I mean, same thing, like, you know, I'm just gonna adding a couple, like, you know, this is how the textbook says, same thing we're talking about, but, right. It's not nothing gonna be new, new, but, right, so then like, you know, Next Tuesday, after the quiz, finish up for this, and then move on to the next chapter. Yay. Yay. But, yeah. but then I'll do, like, also we we'll try to do some exercise as well, too. Right? And then, you know, yeah, it's a lab assignment due today, right? For the lab assignment, when we record our answers for correct, we should just put yes or no. Or how do we record it? No, you have to choose one between. Answer. Answer. Oh, which answer is it? So the one you heard, you put it on? So you have to detect which one you heard the best within. So is it an two? It's like force response. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Thank you.
and also the the next lab is I know it's a kind of crunch. Next lab assignment also due next week, right? One more new one. Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursday. So stay. How many? Months and then there one more after the Thanksgiving. This one and next week. Yeah. Eight. Total yeah. Total eight. Yes. Do I need to get dropped? <laughs> Not for the lab assignment. For the quiz, yes. I I just want to know if it's a good one. I've been doing good. I'm not sure. She looks like a jaguar, honestly. In like that picture. I think the jaguar is in the back. Me too. No. <laughs> that is fucking good. Have you ever seen LT? Right? Oh, what is the jaguar? I just saw it and they had like something that had some kind of like. No, I'm talking about the cartoon. Oh. Don't do that. LT Gray. Oh. Don't do that. Now you're talking about. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not so yet. So, what's the other one's name? Benny. Oh. Benny the Butcher. Because he's a meat slab. He did. Did you just go beef skin? Yeah, dude, come on.